Hello everyone, I have never had so many requests for an opinion or a comment based on another video but this one must be special because loads of you contacted me, commented and asked me what I thought Octopus were playing at by producing this video and sending this video out which didn't make a lot of sense. So I think what they've done here with TJ Octopus Energy is kind of undermining themselves and in some ways, uh, I don't know if it's the editing or if it's the message, but not everything stacks up. So let's just watch it through. It's only 1 minute 23, and at least let's watch the beginning bit and let's see if we can make sense of what they're trying to say. So one thing we get asked a lot is why we design our heat pump systems at 50 degrees in terms of flow temperature. People will say, shouldn't I be running my heat pump cooler 35 degrees, 40 degrees? Because that's what they've heard is better for efficiency. The short answer is no, because heat pumps work differently now, and they work better. In the past, cooler temperatures were the route to best efficiency. That's because older heat pumps could only flow at one temperature. What on earth is he talking about? I don't know what distant past he's talking about, but heat pumps for the last 10, 20 years, they've all been able to modulate. They've all had weather compensation. So we can see that weather compensation has been around for over 40 years and it's used extensively on heat pumps. And this is not a new thing. So to say that now heat pumps don't need it. And even if I do a quick Google search, the AI response knows the difference between a design temperature and a flow temperature. And I think this is what's getting lost here is TJ starts off by identifying the design temperature of 50 degrees. And then he says that people want to run their their uh, heat pumps at a lower flow temperature, which are different things. The design temperature is the theoretical maximum that you're designing the system for. So yes, 50 degrees, but we know that for most of the time, it will operate far below that. The short answer is no. The short answer is clearly yes. And uh, I mean, we can look at a few different sources. You know that I like to share my own experience. I've got a valent heat pump. This is the spec sheet for the valent heat pump. And if we look at a 55 degree flow temperature here on the right hand side, we can see that we should expect to receive to achieve a coefficient of performance of 3.39. Expressed in other ways, 339% efficient. When we calculate how much heat it outputs compared to the electricity that it's consuming. Whereas if we lower that flow temperature from the 55 on the right here to the 35 degree flow temperature on the left, you can see that we can jump by 100% basically. Jump from a coefficient of performance from 3.39 to 4.36. Now pretty much all modern heat pumps uh, seem to act and respond in this kind of way and the difference between the coefficient of performance between pretty much all of the headline heat pumps seems really uh, comparable and there doesn't seem much between them they're all using the same physics and they're virtually using most of the same components inside or very similar rated components so there is one outlier of course and we've talked about it on this channel before and it is octopus's own heat pump the cozy six and we can see at the 55 degree test it does uh, achieve 3.06 which we know from a previous video is perfectly in line with its direct competitor the five kilowatt aratherm plus and we can see that at 3.06 over here, 55 degree flow, and the same for the Cozy 6, 3.06. But then once we get down to the 35 degree flow temperature, sorry, I'm not doing very well with my screen capture today, that only jumps up to 3.98. So it still is a considerable jump, but we see that the same equivalent uh, valent one it jumps up to 4.48 so it is more efficient um, we've talked about how octopus can maybe make up the difference in smart tariffs and the way that they control the system but anyway this this doesn't seem to make much sense so let's go on in the video and let's see if it makes a bit more sense as we go in so fixed flow temperatures no heat pumps do that it's not something to worry that's about. because older heat pumps could only flow at one temperature now, heat pumps can vary the temperature of your flow. And the way we use that is with something called a weather compensation curve, which I happen to have right here. Well, this is helpful. 
this shows roughly the weather compensation curve and we already understand that on this channel um you probably wouldn't be here if you don't already know that i think uh for the best explanations um the great place to start is look at the heat geek website so when we say a 50 degree flow temp what we really mean is that's the maximum temperature you would see as long as you have weather compensation enabled on your heat pump you're actually getting all this great efficiency of the variable temperature throughout the season so one thing we get asked whoa okay the end of the video is great the way he explains the weather compensation curve brilliant two thumbs up the way that he then summarizes that 50 degrees is your maximum and as long as you've got weather compensation enabled then most of the time you'll be operating in a much lower temperature range getting much better efficiency from your heat pump what uh, is being missed here is that people at the beginning are not asking about the um the flow temperature they're asking about the design temperature 35 degrees 40 degrees so what's missing in this oh sorry tj that's not a, a great moment to pause at um what's missing in the discussion is really the octopus energy they design their systems at 50 degrees they don't do that because of efficiency they don't do that because the heat pumps are more efficient at 50 degrees where most of the competitors design their systems at 45 degrees you do see some that are designing even lower than that at 40 degrees but quite often that will that will require quite extensive retrofitting of buildings to go down to 40 degrees giant radiators or you need to have really good underfloor heating with quite small pipe size and uh, pipe spacing um i i think basically if we go down to this comment here by brian hindle you're the one who's raising the flag that if you design a temperature at 40 degrees of course it's going to be more efficient than one that is designed at 50 degrees it doesn't really matter both of them are going to have weather compensation uh enabled and they're going to be working efficiently and mostly working in lower uh, flow temperatures but octopus energy in their response there is saying that much of the information about heat pumps is outdated i don't know if this goes back to a previous video i talked about high temperature heat pumps and that they're a marketing gimmick um, and the octopus are trying to distance themselves from uh, heat pump horror stories of the past i'm not sure but anyway this video it goes on to say that ultimately the main reason that they don't design to that flow temperature is because they're trying to keep the cost down and they are trying to make a simple straightforward installation which is fine but octopus energy you should just hold your hands up and say our systems are not the absolute best systems in terms of efficiency generally speaking there's nothing wrong with that because i believe octopus energy over the whole life cycle of the heat pump and the heating system i believe octopus energy probably are the cheapest they will cost a little bit more to run but up front their costs are so much lower than the competition in most cases um that even a really well run efficient uh, heat pump you'll never really claw back those additional savings by going for a heat pump that's two or three times more expensive than octopus energy one so anyway um i think that's kind of what they're owning up to and identifying in the comments and the comments is great but the the beginning of the video and i don't know if they've just done it for kind of clickbait and to draw people in or what i'm not sure designing your heat pump at a higher flow temperature, a design temperature, your peak temperature, it's never going to be more efficient than a low one. Lower temperatures are always the way to heat pump efficiency. And it doesn't really matter what Octopus try to say. I don't know if it's marketing or whatnot. Um, I've waffled on for too long. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like and comment and subscribe to the channel. And I'm putting out loads of this content all the time. Thank you for watching. And thank you to you who sent me this video. Let me know in the comments if you're one of those people who raised the flag. Farewell for now.